anger is one of the things that hurts someone's tshuva. The Ramban, in his commentary on Exodus 13.16, he says the following, Everything that happens to a man is part of a divine plan. There's no such thing as coincidence or accident. Even when a man is harmed by his fellow, it is an expression of God's will, with the perpetrator acting merely as a heavenly messenger. That's exactly what we just said about the Holocaust. There's no such thing as accident. There's no such thing as something happening because Hashem just stopped paying attention to it. Anything that happens in your life, that means Hashem is talking to you. Got a flat tire? Hashem is talking to you. Your wife yelled at you? Hashem is talking to you. Your husband cheated on you? Hashem is talking to you. Someone died? Hashem Hashem is talking to you. Everything and anything that happened in this world or will happen or happened or is happening, Hashem is talking to you. It's just that you're not Moses, so He's not talking to you in simple language. He's talking to you in actions. When one becomes angry with another person or takes revenge on him for a wrong, Someone cut him off, someone hurt him, someone stole his money, whatever, something happened. And you want to take revenge. This person is assuming that his fellow had an independent ability to harm him in the first place and does not take God's will into account. Meaning by somebody just doing something to you and you're getting angry at them, in essence you're saying that he did it on himself, it's not God. He did it. He stole my money. He cheated me. He did, he did, she did. No, 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 my friend. God did. He just used him as a tool. You're a problem? Talk to him, not him. Train. I got embarrassed. Said, look, we're coming on time at least. The Indians probably. It's coming, it's coming. Watch well, the horse. You know, so, <laughs> so the Ramba. Bow Hatta, don't I learn the Hanam, so I couldn't even draw. So the Rambam continues. Otherwise, he would look to God as the source of his trouble and would have no reason to be angry with the person who hurt him. Such anger is a form of idolatry because he assigns independent power to another human being when there is really no such thing. Therefore, we're taught not to become angry easily. It is a form of denial of the source of all events in the world. There's no such thing as he broke your heart. There's no such thing as they're cheating you. There's no such thing as anything happening without Hashem putting a signature on it, including your DNA. No such thing. This changes if you really take this into serious perspective and mamash mit bonen, like you start thinking about this thought deeply that the Ramban just gave it to us. There's really no reason to ever be angry. If you keep this here, if it's over here, if it's in your pocket, if it's in the books on the shelf, of course, you're going to get angry every day. But if you constantly keep it here, on top of your mind, say everything is from Hashem. Just like Rabbi Akiva said at the end of Masechet Brachot, Kol de'avid ha'chamana tav de'avid. Everything that the merciful one does, he does for the best. Meaning there's no such thing as Hashem doing something purely to hurt us. Everything that He does is the best possible choice, including death, murder, disease, holocaust, pogroms, the worst things on earth. This of course does not mean that we cheer on when it happens. We're definitely not at that level. Rabbi Akiva, on the other hand, saw the Bet HaMikdash being destroyed, and he laughed. Why? Because he said, just like the prophecy that Hashem promised us that if we don't go His way, He's going to destroy the Bet HaMikdash, that means that 
the other prophecy of him bringing the Mashiach is also going to come true. So he left while it was happening because he was at that level. We're not even a shoe. But nonetheless, if we can get ourselves to understand that everything that Hashem does is for the good, at the very least, we can start controlling our anger to a point of not getting angry easily. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.